Hello, um, I'm going to show you some simple things that you can do to make your computer run faster. And um, before we get started on this, I'm just going to show you how to make a restore point so that should anything go wrong um, or any of these settings not agree with your system, you can put things back to the way that they were. Um, so you go to start all programs, accessories, system tools, and then system restore. Okay, so click here, create a restore point. Just put before speed up tips or something like that. And now this will just create a, a backup of all of your system settings so that if anything goes wrong, you can wind the clock back. I'll just show you how to do that. Um, go into, into system restore again, and then you click restore my computer to an earlier time. And then you can see here a calendar with all the restore points. Most of them are made automatically when you install software. And there it is. There's the one that I just made. So you can just restore it to that point to put everything back. But hopefully nothing will go wrong. These are quite safe tips. Um, OK, so the, the first thing really is just go to his control panel. Um, and an, a good way to speed things up is to go to add or remove programs and just go down this list. This takes maybe a few moments to fill up, but just go down this list and remove any software that you don't use because that is a real thing that slows your system down. It's cluttered up with loads of software. I know that you've been trying things out and, and most of them or many of them, you know, you haven't used or you don't, you don't continue to, to use. So just work your way down and take them out. So if you wanted to get rid of that one, just click on it and click remove used rarely. Um, and just work your way all the way down getting rid of that unnecessary software that that'll really help help you out so that's the first one and um, now another another big slowdown is that a lot of software um it sneaks itself onto your startup list and it loads up automatically when windows starts so not only does it make windows take a long time to get going um it also uses up resources while whilst windows is running and you know, most of the software, you're, you're not going to use it every time. I mean, say Skype, for example, you don't need it running in the background all the time because you're not going to use it every single time that you load up your computer. Um, so to start off with, go to run and type in msconfig. It's in there already, just msconfig. And then go to the startup tab. And now just go down this list. A lot of these things, you're not going to know what they are, what they mean. Um, and, and you probably want to leave them alone if you don't know what they are. But just go down and anything relating to any software that, you, that you've installed, that you know the name of, say like iTunes Helper, for example. Um, there's not much on this PC, but on yours, there's probably quite a lot of things, um, Skype or, or whatever. Um, and you'll see the name in here. Just uncheck the box and click Apply. And then that will stop those programs from loading up at the startup, and that will really speed things up for you. I'm going to leave that one in there, though. Um, so anything relating to some software that you don't need to be running at startup. Um, that, that's OK, but there is that, that MS config is OK, and it will help you. But um, a lot of software, you, you can't stop it using just MS config. You need to get another program called Auto Runs, which you can download from um, Microsoft and the URLs in the mag. I've installed it already, it's here. So you just load up auto runs and go to the logon tab and it's got much more detailed description and much more um, a much more comprehensive list of all the things that are trying to load up. So look at this DVD launcher. You know that wasn't that wasn't there on the last one and you can get rid of that from here. So just again just go just stick to the logon tab um, and just disable anything just just check the box and it will disable it. Anything that you know you don't want to start up um, when Windows loads. And that will that will really, really um, speed up Windows, get Windows starting up faster. 